Now, I know many of you guys have been struggling and suffering while trying to save up for the new set in Royal High. Let's be honest, we've all been used to not having to save up for sets for quite some time, and now that there's a new one, people have been obviously unable to get back used to grinding such a huge amount of diamonds for something that is worth so much. But today, I'm going to help you out, because my amazing friend Stephanie, who you guys will already know from various things she's been in of mine in the past, is actually a ridiculously high level. In case you didn't know, she's almost level 12,000, which means obviously she has some experience with grinding, especially considering she did buy the new set with those grinded diamonds. So that all means I'm going to share with you today a secret from my friend Stephanie, her grinding routine to help you guys out in Royal High. Hello wonderful little beans, welcome back to another video and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications and you star could be when buying Robux or premium. So little beans, obviously the new set has been out now for about a week or so and people are desperately trying to grind enough diamonds to be able to purchase it, particularly because they know the second it goes off sale, obviously the trading hub will immediately begin massively overpricing it and making it almost impossible to obtain. So for those of you out there who don't have a very good grinding routine like me who need a little bit of help i have enlisted my friend stephanie to help us out with her grinding routine so please say a big thank you in the comments to stephanie and i'll leave a link in the comments down below to go and follow her twitch as well if you would like to go and do so but little beans listen grinding huge amounts of diamonds is never easy but these steps could help you to at least get your level up and not to mention get some pretty good diamonds to help you towards the set obviously so you can buy it hopefully very very soon let's get started so number one that stephanie said she does every single day when doing her grinding is quests as you guys know quests are the newest thing that were added with canvas 3 we know that quests are a really good way to level up because obviously by doing so you get a lot of experience without having to go to the old style classes in canvas 2 now you can still go and use canvas 2 if you want to but doing the quests over in canvas 3 will help you to get through them really quick for example don't be late to class it's a really quick one that you don't get a lot of time to do but you do get a fairly substantial amount of experience for completing it quickly so if you can run as fast as you can to get to your classroom hopefully with minimal loading issues and not too many pink screens you will get a pretty substantial amount of experience just for being quick to get there in the game now some quests have higher xp levels the ones that take longer or are more difficult to do usually provide you with more experience so as you can see the run the mile one and the warm up in the castle's heart both have a fair amount of experience purely down to the fact that they are quite difficult to do so completing as many quests as you possibly can in a short period of time basically if you're running around doing stuff throughout the day the more you do the better experience you will get and the better you will be at leveling up now this one by the way the warm-up in the castle's heart quest is my worst nightmare i absolutely hate this quest i'm sure there's so many of you guys out there who share my sentiment of hatred for this quest because i feel like i can never find all of the candles and it takes me ages to do the quest but on the bright side when you do complete it you do get a pretty considerable amount of diamonds so on the bright side completing the quest will at least help you out by giving you something fairly significant and you will get a pretty good amount of experience the only problem is where, where is, is the, the last, last candle, candle? Ugh, or at least where are the last candles because we never know how many are left because it doesn't tell us how many we've done so far and it drives me absolutely mad you guys i'm going to go crazy one day just searching for candles inside of this realm and i mean that literally you guys every single time is this one lit oh that one's not lit so that's one there's still more what, what is, is this, this madness, madness? Oh, finally. Okay, so that's 71 experience right there. And as you guys can see, I do have another one, Run the Mile, which also is a good one for getting some pretty good stuff. So if we go and grab an active wear, pop it on, and then we'll go for a run. Don't forget as well, you guys, that if you are doing the Run the Mile quest, you can always just, you know, pop yourself down and hold down shift. Or click on the run button, doesn't actually work. You do have to hold shift and press W, otherwise it will not work, you guys. So you have to do both at the same time. But go for it, do the Run the Mile. There we go, you guys, Run the mile done and i did actually end up leveling up already and we only just started the video so look at that 
So you guys, next up, Stephanie said to make sure you shower and do your self-care needs. Self-care stuff goes right down to zero very easily, but doing it actually levels up you really quickly. You get a bunch of experience while doing this. And the biggest benefit to this as well is you can actually do other quests in between your self-care. Like if you go down each self-care and by the time you've done a few quests, you end up back at zero and need to do your hygiene again anyway. So you can just consistently continue going through it. Next up, you guys, is eating snacks or having drinks. The reason why you should eat snacks and have drinks is because, again, keeping up that self-care meter actually does benefit you. The more self-care meter you have, the more you are able to level up. Basically, the more your hygiene goes up, the more experience you get. The more you keep your hygiene up, the more experience you'll get too. So maintaining a higher hygiene will help you to gain more experience over time because having high hygiene randomly gives you experience throughout the game for keeping it up consistently. And one thing you can also do, you guys, that some people may not realize is you could grab some food from the bathing quarters, then head into the shower. And while you are showering, you can eat at the same time. Now, do bear in mind, it might look a bit confusing because you'll have a couple of meters up at the same time and you might accidentally turn the shower off a couple of times. But if you keep both meters going up at the same time, you'll gain experience for both of them and kill two birds with one stone, if you will. In other words, you will waste less time doing them because you're completing them all at once which will obviously benefit you later because you won't have to do as much later on so why not why would you not want to go ahead and do this while you're in the same room you might as well take advantage of it see i'm already gaining experience and i'm not even full on the bar yet obviously the experience bar is rising for the showering as well the hygiene going up hygiene does take a while you do have to shower for a fairly significant amount of time but once it's full the experience is worth it so in addition to that we are also eating our way to a full snack and hunger bar too so that we can get that extra experience because who doesn't want as much xp as possible because the more you level up the more diamonds you will get and there we go you guys the hygiene bar is now complete and we will gain a bunch of experience for completing that and another level up another 1800 diamonds and as you can see i have barely been in here and i'm already leveling up a fairly significant amount now one thing i do want to do is i'm just going to grab a quick drink from here by the way i still can't get used to the fact that there's like an extra like bit here because of the way that the room is shaped now that they've changed the dorms around it still confuses me and blows my mind every single time so let's go ahead and have a drink you guys and get this hunger bar up as well because if we can get this hunger bar to go to full then we will be able to get another boost of experience too which obviously is beneficial we are on 93 percent will we make it to the top with this drink or will i have to get another one ah, i think we're gonna make it let's see 98 percent oh my gosh almost so close let's grab a quick chocolate bar as well there we go so we did just get some experience while getting it up to 98 percent let's go ahead and grab this as well and we'll eat a bite of it there we go 100 hunger as well you guys then once you're on 100 hunger the next thing you're going to want to do is enter the dormitories so sleeping you guys is also beneficial for helping you with support towards leveling up because obviously each time you sleep you do get a bunch of experience now because my dorm is currently in the process of being redone i don't actually have a bed i'm just gonna pop in mattress on the floor real quick so that we can sleep on that but then all you have to do is lay down and let your sleep bar fill up over time now do remember if you also have the sleeping quest you will get more just make sure that you do put on some pajamas in the outfit section inside the dress up menu now additionally i actually have a quest for brushing my hair the hair tangles quest so i might as well complete both at the same time and there we go once you're done sleeping you will once again get a bunch of experience and oh i just unlocked another locker safe slot look at that you guys perfect another level up another 1800 diamonds all that's just for those few things that i have done throughout this video so far <laughs> So next up, let's do the next thing. If you haven't already, make sure you do your daily login because as you guys can see, you can get anywhere from 1,300 to 2,600 and occasionally even more diamonds every single day just for making sure that you always log in. 
And of course, don't forget to go and wish into the dream fountain as often as you can. The more often you do, the more chances you will have at getting something useful. Obviously, you can lose diamonds, but you're never going to lose too many that is going to significantly impact you. But the potential gains of diamonds and potentially winning a healer is definitely worth the risk of wishing into the fountain. I cannot stress enough how much I suggest that you guys do this, because let's say you win the healer and you don't want it. You could sell it for over 2 million diamonds or whatever you want to sell it for, and then you can use that to buy the set if you want to. If you're unlucky, you might lose diamonds like I just did, but you're never going to lose so many that it's going to severely impact you. So there you go, little beans. There are some grinding method ideas for you. I hope this helps you guys to get everything you want, and I hope you manage to get the beautiful new set when you get it in game. I'm sure you will have the best time. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any extra tips, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you, Stephanie, for your help with telling me your farming routine, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day, little beans. Goodbye.